I didn't see you there. Uh, something that's come up last night is an interesting thing, uh, a mindset that I used to have about apostates. So one of the lines that I said myself and that has recently been said about us is, why can't you just get over it? Why can't you just move on with your life? Why, uh, why are you so angry? Um, um, I mean, I, I have resentment. I have some anger. But I'm not, like, fueled by rage. I think I seem pretty calm. Um, but why am I posting videos for 12 people to look at <laughs> and commenting on Reddit? Um, if you knew that something was harmful, wouldn't you try and help somebody? Yeah, you would. So, if this video helps a person, then I'm very happy about that. I watched a lot of XJW YouTube videos, and that was very helpful in the waking up process. It's validating, uh, raised points I had never thought about. It helped me a lot, and I'd like to give back. Um, but yeah, that's why I just can't get over it, because objectively, being a witness hurts people. Maybe not all of them. Some of them like it. I don't know. If, you, if, if it fits for you, if you want to be in a cult, that's fine. It's up to you. If you choose to be, uh, being forced, eh, no. There needs to be some consent here. Um, but there are people that I've talked about in other videos on here that would have killed themselves because they are witnesses. If you are in need of a blood transfusion, or at, like say one of the new cancer treatments where they uh, will modify your white blood cells to specifically target your type of cancer. You can't do that as a witness. You can't accept white blood cells. Um, so I guess you're gonna get eaten up by cancer. There's a bunch of medications, like in, in the near future with CRISPR and other technologies, there's gonna be a lot of targeted, modified um, medications, treatments. Um, that witnesses probably won't be able to accept unless there's a new light. But <laughs> there are plenty of scenarios that are harmful. And so is it not the logical thing that if I see someone at risk or in a situation that could be harmful to them, that I would want to help them? It's not out of anger. I don't want to destroy people's faith. I would like if the Watchtower Society didn't exist anymore. That would probably be a net benefit for society. But I'm like, I'm not fueled by the desire to see its downfall. <laughs> I just don't want people to get hurt. And I don't want people to be coerced. And I don't want people to be trapped. And that's a very reasonable thing. Um, Again, it's one of those things where the witnesses apply something to themselves that is different when they uh, have that applied. Uh, they, they apply a different standards to either themselves or outside the group. If Scientologists uh, were activists against Scientology, I don't think any witnesses would be like, well, why can't you just get over it? You know, why are you so angry? Why do you want to try and get people out of this Scientology cult? I don't think that they would say that. I don't think they would judge them for that. I think they'd be like, yeah, you know, that does sound pretty crazy. It's good that you're trying to help people. Same with any other non-witness religion. But when it's applied to them, suddenly it's not justified. It's black and white thinking, whatever. But anyway, here's a little note in case anybody finds my channel. I'm not angry. Um, it hurts people objectively. And uh, one of the things we heard from, ironically, is someone who is uh, poemy, uh, sort of, uh, sort of in, mostly out, but still believes. Um, for people who are like that on the edge, who still have that indoctrinated fear of apostasy, um, but are not living the witness life, you know, if you're, if you're smoking pot, if you're you know what I mean? Even if you're not going to the meetings, if you're spending time with um, people who are living an immoral lifestyle, um, you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing as a witness. Um, 
So it's a strange thing to at the same time be like, it's not good for me. I left or sort of left. I'm certainly not following the rules anymore because I, you know, for whatever, whatever their reason is, but like, obviously they think that it's better to not follow the rules than to be in. So me not following the rules, fine. Um, but you trying to talk to other people and <laughs> telling them, you know, maybe not following the rules might help them. That's bad. It's very, it's very strange. Um, I, I know it's a product of the indoctrination, but just like a little bit of thinking. It, it's weird. It doesn't make sense. Um, so, uh, yeah. <laughs> Apostate is a dirty word for the witnesses. It shouldn't be. It's very funny. Uh, it's, it's interesting that you are uh, the worst sort of boogeyman by uh, the very simple combination of leaving and telling people why you left. <laughs> Suddenly you are uh, scarier than a secondhand sweater from Goodwill that might have a demon in it. <laughs> we are legion for there are many. <laughs> I got so many demons. Uh, none of them are very helpful. Uh, I wish I had super strength. Uh, none of them have offered me fame or fortune or uh, <laughs> any of the other things that supposedly you get if you leave. <laughs> Be nice. Kind of, kind of not holding up their end of the deal. <laughs> anyway, activism is good. And it's a, a very... It doesn't take much critical thinking at all to see why someone would do this. Uh, so, anyway. Random thought while I wander around in the bushes. Uh, it is a beautiful day out. Look at those birds. That one bird. Uh, global warming. Not great, but uh, the weather's nice right now. I <laughs> uh, hope you have a good day. And, uh, you know, try and help somebody. Make the world a little better.